Hey, hey, happy people. So today, you already saw the title, we are going to try to make birria or wet tacos. Um, I had a friend who is transitioning to alkaline and she wanted to know if I could do the birria tacos alkaline and then I had co-workers sending me videos asking me, can you do this for us? Which is funny because none of them are vegan whatsoever, like not even, not alkaline, not even vegan. So, but the fact that they still want me to do it for them. It's awesome, so that must mean they like my food when I cook it, so. <clears throat> we are going to get started here. As you can see, I already have my gloves on. And we here have some, in this, that pot is in the way. In this bowl here, I have some dried habanero peppers and some dried cayenne. And those are the two dried peppers we're going to use for this uh, recipe. I do have a red bell pepper right here because a lot of times they have... It's two to three peppers, but I'm only going to do these two. I did not try to get the uh, African bear pepper. That is just too much for me. This is already going to test my willpower of uh, spicy and hot food. So, in this uh, pot here, I already have seven uh, cups of water. It is already on and starting to boil. We are going to use the King Garster Mushroom, the Trumpet Mushroom. One of my favorite and most accessible mushrooms to me. I decided to use this one because it doesn't hold that much water and usually in birria tacos or wet tacos, which is how they were introduced to me as wet tacos, uh, they usually have their meats uh, boiling in the sauce and liquid, but most mushrooms are going to plump up with all of the liquid and then it's going to be very squishy. Whereas this one do not plump up as much. We're going to try to get some flavor into it by boiling it in the sauce, but it does not hold as much liquid as the other mushrooms. So that's why we're going with the trumpet mushrooms. So, I also have here, try to tell you guys everything because I'm going to try to move that camera over here so you guys can see directly into the pot. I got four um, Roma tomatoes, large Roma tomatoes, I just cut them in half. And I got one shallot, one whole onion, one whole red bell pepper, and four of these, uh, four dried uh, porcini mushrooms to give us a little extra flavor. And I got a piece of ginger in here somewhere. I have a very small piece of ginger, like very small, because ginger amplifies the spiciness and stuff, and I'm already using spicy peppers. and. <laughs> I don't really like a lot of spicy, so we're going to go with just a little sliver of ginger. Alright, so I need to deseat these, so let's just do that right quick. I don't even know how many to use, y'all. Like, I'm kind of scared. Like, I don't know how many. Ooh, well, that just broke wide open, didn't it? Mm, I don't know. Turn into little little pieces. I don't want to get no seeds. Okay. That's one. Alright, that's three of those, and those are the three habanero. So now, let's see about these cayenne peppers here. I don't know how their seeds are going to be. <coughs> I can smell them already.
That's four of those. I think that's going to be quite enough for me. I'm not going to touch my lemon no further than that. Alright, so now I'm going to run the ingredients up the screen right quick while I go get a spoon so I can stir everything and get you guys moved over to here so you can see. So like I said, I already have seven cups of water in here. So we're going to go ahead and add our peppers. Four habanero pieces here. <laughs> and four, five of the uh, cayenne pepper. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add my vegetables. I got one whole bell pepper, red, one whole onion, <clears throat> small sliver of ginger because again I don't want it to be overpowering heat for me. Even though I'm cooking this for other people, I am planning on tasting it too so don't want to burn my mouth out. Alright, four pieces of dried porcini mushrooms, one whole shallot, and four very large <laughs> Roma tomatoes. Alright. And now we have our seasonings here. You guys already saw at the top of the list there. But I got my two bay leaves there. Sea salt, all that stuff. My nose is starting to run with the heat here. So I'm trying not to... Be sniffling on y'all. I have my fourth of a cup of key lime juice. Stir it all around there. I can smell the peppers already. Alright, so now I'm going to add my mushrooms here, I have quite a few because like I say, I am making this for other people. I'm just going to layer these on top here right quick. Then I'm going to add my veggie broth here. How much is in this container here? Let me see. This is seven and a half cups, so let's see if it covers my mushrooms. Basically, that's just what I wanted to do, cover the mushrooms. I think that might just work. Well, they're not going to sink down off in there, but I'll just keep moving them around. Let them get good season here. Let this cook down here for about, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 minutes here. Let my mushrooms soften up a little bit. Get a little seasoning. All my uh, dried vegetables and spices have plumped up. And I'll be back. I'm going to put the lid on this. Alright guys, so it has been about 25, maybe 30 minutes here. And I think everything should be just about ready. So we're going to take the top off of this here. Mm, look at all that steam. And my tomatoes and bell peppers have started to disintegrate. The habanero peppers are soft. Mushrooms are soft. And... My trumpet mushrooms are starting to get some color to them. So now we're going to just turn this off. And I'm going to pull out all the mushrooms here. Usually this is where you would pull out um, 
Let me get over here so y'all can see. Uh, usually this is where you would pull out the, uh, be the peppers and onions and stuff and blend them. But because my peppers are so small and they're in little pieces, I'm not going to be able to get all those little pieces. So I'm just going to blend all of this uh, juice down here. But first I'm going to remove my mushrooms out of it. Kind of squeeze them a little bit there, get some of that juice out of them. Alright, so that is it. So I'm just going to push this off to the side, let this can cool a little bit so it'll be easier to handle pointing into the blender. And I'm going to shred up these mushrooms. So let's get you guys moved back over there so I can have some space here. There we go. That over there. And I'm just going to take a fork here and shred them up very easily. Alright, so I have shredded it. I'm just going to go through and give it a rough chop here so that way I won't have really long stringy pieces. Cut some of those apart there. That's all done. Push this off to the side here. Now we gotta get all of our sauce here in the blender. And I'm gonna need to get a little. Go. Everything in the blender. Might have to do this in a couple of batches. this up first and then I'll come back and do some more.
work it there. Gonna pour all of this back into the pot. And I'm gonna turn my pot back on and I'm gonna let this reduce a little bit. All them seasonings off the side there. I'm just going to let that reduce a little bit there while I clean this up. Alright, tortillas. We have one cup of kamut flour here. I have a half a teaspoon of sea salt. Mix that up in there. I got one eighth of a cup of grapeseed oil. Let's mess that around a little bit there. Get those little fine crumbles. Okay, now I got a third of a cup of water. I'm just going to pour a little bit at a time. It's not forming like I want to, so get a little more water oil here. I have no idea what that noise is. It's coming from next door's patio but here we're going to add just a little bit more oil just to get this to come together pretty good here So I'm back. My sauce has uh, cooked down here a little bit. I did add two tablespoons of uh, white spelt flour just to give it a little body there, a little thickness. But I think we're all ready. I have turned it. No, I haven't. I'm turning it off now. And I'm just going to spoon some into a bowl here so you guys can see it. See that? Got a little sauce here. Now, I got my griddle here so we can cook our uh, mushrooms down a little bit more. Usually when they make a uh, birria with birria or wet tacos, they usually sear their meat first to lock in the juices and then put it in the um, sauce while it's cooking. But because, but because these mushrooms... Uh, I think we'll do better if we sear them after they've been cooked in the sauce. So I have here, I'm just going to, it's already hot, so we're just, nope, nope. <laughs> we're going to put some oil down first. I have some annatto oil here. This is going to help with a little color. Not too much. Just enough there. And 
And we're going to add some meat here. I did not... I did not shred it all because I'm going to shred it uh, tomorrow before I take it to work for them so it can be fresh for them and I'll cook it down just like I'll make more tar tortillas for them tomorrow so they won't be all cold and hard. Just going to cook enough here for me and happy to have a couple tacos tonight. I'm going to add a little alkaline all purpose seasoning here. Give us a little more flavor because these mushrooms don't take on that much flavor like that, especially when you, with the liquid. So just add a little bit in there. While I'm waiting on that, I can finish shredding my cheese here. This is my cheese block. I have a video on this already. I just, this is a fresh one as you can see. You can see the bell peppers in there. It's going to give me some nice color there. And shred a little bit of this just so I can have some cheese to go on my tacos. There we go. Mushrooms out here, uh, ham. <laughs> my mushrooms here have cooked down, released a lot of that liquid, that juice, and it's just left with a whole bunch of flavor here. So, I'm going to push this to the side here. Start building our taco here. Alright, so my tortillas, you guys already watched me make those earlier. I'm gonna just move everything over here to me first. <laughs> Alright, so tortilla. Dip it in your sauce. I dropped it. Alright, now. Let's put a little meat. Load it up there. Then... I think it's the cheese. Well, we'll just go with the cheese. Cover that up. Little onion. some cilantro I'm not for sure if you're supposed to put a little bit of a sauce but I am I'll put just a little bit over the top there there we 
go. Now I'm gonna try to fold this over. Come here. Turn it around so y'all can see. Oh, it's tasty. I think I was supposed to put my cheese on top so it would stick, <laughs> but it didn't. So let's just put a little cheese here to help it stick. Ah, I'm making a mess. Oh, well, turn it over. My cheese coming out of there and it's melting. I need a spatula. If I can get all my stuff back in there, the cheese done melted and came on out. Turn this off for a second because we're just going to taste this, this, this one and then me and Happy will cook a couple more. good to make. Alright, so the way this is supposed to go. Let's just get that off of here right quick so it don't burn. Let's just put that on that. warm. Try to bite it from this end. Alright, so here we go. Very own alkaline birria wet tacos. Y'all, I'm kind of scared of this sauce because of the peppers that's in it. Like, I don't know. I'm worried because I don't do spicy heat too well. So, but let's see. I made it. Let's try it. Dip it in our sauce here. Mm. It is hot. It is hot. Yeah. All right, I had to go give it a paper towel. So. That is how you make birria tacos the alkaline way. It's actually pretty good. I'm not even mad at it. Actually, I like it. Even though it has that heat to it, it has that tomato to mellow it out a little bit. So I'm not like crying right now. And I didn't put a lot of the um, peppers as you saw. Mm. This is good. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is really good. I'm going to go ahead and fry up a little bit more for Happy. He should be here. Yeah, he should be here in about 30 minutes or so. So, 
I'll go ahead and get it ready because he don't like that much cilantro, so I'm really not going to put that many on his uh, taco. And hopefully it won't be too hot for him. But usually this is pretty spicy. If you're a person who likes spicy, feel free. Load up on the cayenne peppers, the habanero peppers. You can even get dried bird pepper. I just was not going to test the limits of my taste buds with that. And I didn't want to burn them all the way off. Um, and that would be your three peppers in there if you wanted to use like the three peppers like some people do when they're, use, when they're making this. But it's very good. I would probably cook it down a little bit more if, uh, probably it's going to cook it down just a little bit more to make it just a little bit thicker. Like I said, I did add two tablespoons of spell flour, so make sure you use the ingredients that I have posted here. And that's it. Like, it is messy, <laughs> but it's wet, so. But it's actually good. Good enough for me not to be burning my mouth. I don't have to run off and go drink some milk or go down some agave right quick. Tomorrow, before I take this to work, I will probably sprinkle a little cayenne pepper on uh, mushrooms. And I'm going to put probably about a teaspoon of cayenne in the uh, sauce as I'm warming it up. Because I know that my co-workers just happen to like spicy food like they like a lot of heat so they are going to love it like that I mean for me right now this is good so they're probably going to be like this is not spicy at all so I'm going to add a little more spice for them but like I said for me this is fine if you like a lot of spice there you go if you're like me and you don't like a lot of spice I will stick with just the amount of peppers that I use or less you can always start with less cook it down taste it if it's not uh, up to par like you like it then add another pepper or two but I would not start out with a whole bunch of them at first because, man. But I'm done talking because I need to get finished here, get this all wrapped up so that way when I have to come, we can actually sit down and eat dinner. So, until the next time, people. Oh, give me a thumbs up. You now have Alkaline Beria slash Wet Tacos. You have seen how to make them. You've seen me how to make the consomme. Uh, I was going to make the hot chili oil, but I did not. That would be very simple for me. I literally would use some um, natural seed oil and some cayenne pepper, uh, the powder, and I would just heat it up and then just pour off the oil out of the uh, cayenne pepper, leaving the rest of the pepper at the bottom, and then that's what I would dip, drip into the consomme because I see them do that. But again, I'm not pushing my taste buds that far, so feel free to do that if you want. But, thumbs up, share, subscribe, so you can see if you're not a member of the Stay Happy crew, go ahead and subscribe so you can see all these beautiful dishes that we make here. And, yeah, I said share, I said like, notification bell, okay, that's it. So, until the next time, why don't I do that? Until the next time, stay happy.